Hey guys! Here I am going to show you how I did my last minute Batgirl makeup tutorial. It's nothing too fancy, but it's definitely enough to get the party going. So if you want to learn how to do it, keep watching. I've already started by moisturizing my face, and next I'm going to apply a shine control primer. So if you're out all night in your costume, this will definitely help to avoid shininess and just excess oil from building up. Just dab it all along your face and then really rub it into your skin and make sure it really gets absorbed into your skin. Next I am putting an eyeshadow primer just on actually my under eyes just because I do tend to get some fine lines right underneath my eyes and so to avoid my foundation from really caking up there I just put a little primer on first. And then I'm applying my foundation, it's the Colorstay um, Whipped Foundation in Ivory. And again, I'm just applying that in spots all along my face. And I know I think you're supposed to, like they recommend that you rub this in with your fingers, but I'm not a big fan of doing that for foundation. So I'm just blending it into my skin with just a flat top kind of synthetic brush. It's a super cheap one I got from e.l.f., but I love that thing. Next I am just applying some loose, well not loose, but um, powder over my face just to set the foundation and make sure that nothing slips and slides off later. And then I'm just applying that eyeshadow primer actually on my eyelids for the eyeshadow and liner and everything that's to come to make sure it lasts throughout the night. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm using this e.l.f. Um, eyebrow like kit and I'm using the darker cream color first just to kind of um, define like the actual lines of the eyebrow I guess just to make it appear sharper and just add some like, depth to them but um, yeah so I just use that to kind of outline the eyebrows first and then I fill them in with the powder. I apologize in advance guys, I know I kind of suck at these narrations, but I'm just getting sick of typing in all of those subtitles, so bear with me, and if you want me to shut up, just turn on the mute button. And then next, just to kind of soften the eyebrows, I'm just using a little spoolie and just kind of running through them a couple times, like I said, just to soften them up a bit. Now for eyeshadows, I'm basically just using one. It's the Anonymous, um, it, it's the color Anonymous from the Urban Decay's Vice palette, and it's just a super like skin tone neutral light color, and it's matte, and I'm just applying that all across the lids and up to the brow bone. Next, since you wouldn't be Batgirl without a mask, um, I want to make sure that all of the makeup that I'm putting on isn't going to get hidden by the mask when I put it on later. So I'm just kind of using a white eyeliner pencil and putting on the mask and just using that as a guide to make sure that when I do apply the rest of the makeup, I don't go past those lines. And since I'm kind of not used to doing more dramatic wings, like I do winged eyeliner a lot, but not really dramatic winged eyeliner, so I'm just using a flat, like thin synthetic brush and a light eyeshadow just to kind of draw out where I want the lines to be, and then I'm going over that with a matte black eyeshadow and an angled brush, and again, just kind of working out where I want the um, eyeliner to eventually go, but using the eyeshadow first makes it easier so that if I do mess up I can just wipe it away and start over. So if you're really good at doing winged eyeliner you can skip this step but I'm not amazing at it so I'm better safe than sorry. Now 
I did decide to go with, like I said, a more dramatic wing to the eyes. Um, more dramatic than I'm definitely used to, which kind of goes hand in hand with the vintage Batgirl look. And I'm pretty happy I did the eyeshadow part first because as you can see in just a second, I did kind of mess up. The lines were uneven and I did decide I liked one more than the other. So I kind of ditched whatever that, what was it, the left eye and went with the look from the right eye. Now that we've got our base ready for where we want the eyeliner to go, I'm just going over that with a black liquid felt tip liner and just filling in wherever the black eyeshadow is. Now that I've got that done, I'm just going to wipe away the white eyeliner that's left on the lids because I don't need it anymore. And I am lining the lower lid. Um, I totally didn't realize I'd grab the brown, but that's fine. I'm just lining about a quarter of the way across the outer corners of my lower lids just to kind of define them a bit more so they're not so top heavy. Next, um, just to add a little bit of light to my eyes, I'm using this shimmery cream color from this Ulta palette that I bought and just applying that right to the inner corners of the eyes. Now I'm going to apply some like really gaudy like false lashes. Um, I applied some mascara to the top and lower lashes and that's about it for the eyes. Oh, forgot last step. I did also line my waterline with a black eyeliner pencil. And now we're done with the eyes. Add a little definition to my cheeks since I've got such a round face. I'm using the bronzer from that Ulta palette and just sculpting out my non-existent cheekbone. Sometimes you just gotta fake it. And last but not least are obviously the lips, and I'm using a bright, bold, matte red lipstick first. It's Max just red lipstick, and I lined the Cupid's bow first with a um, pencil brush or a lip brush, and then I just filled in with the actual lipstick. And I know, I know, I should have used a lip liner first, but I wasn't really thinking. I'm not actually going out with this tonight, so I didn't care if it was long lasting. But in real life, you would want to use a lip liner first to make sure the color doesn't bleed. And I just fill in the rest of the lips um, with the lipstick and the lip brush to make sure that the lines are really defined and like not smudgy or whatever. <laughs> and to complete the lips, I just applied a red lip gloss over them just to add a little bit of shine. And the makeup is complete. But you can't forget your mask, so get that on, put on your gloves, get the rest of your costume together, and you are ready for Halloween. So I think all together this look cost me like 30 bucks or something like that. Like all it really was was the tank top with a cape, a mask, and the gloves. And I just threw on some hot pants, some sparkly tights, and combat boots. So again, just kind of a thrown together costume, but I think it looks pretty awesome. So if you enjoyed it and want to see more of my videos, please don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I hope everybody has a safe Halloween.